Brittany. So, today's gonna be a popcorn chat review, and today we'll be discussing Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron. So, Spirit was released in theaters May 24th, 2002, and it's a traditional 2D animation with 3D animation as well, and it's it's a DreamWorks um, animated movie, and I think that is just a really great um, DreamWorks animated movie that I've seen. And um, we get Lorna Cook and Kelly Osbury, who directed Spirit, and John Fusco, who wrote the movie, well, who wrote for the story of Spirit, and I would say it's just this amazing story that was brought to life. So thank you, John Fusco, for that, for that wonderful story that was brought to life in spirit. And Hans Zimmer composed the music for spirit, and he did amazing too because I I love his work when um, when I hear other music that that he does in other movies as well, including um, Inception and The Lion King. He cannot go wrong, like he's just an amazing music composer. And so for him to do the music for Spirit, it just really, really uh, brought the story to life, you know. It, it really did, like everything. And then we get Matt Damon, who's the narrator um, of Spirit, because Spirit is a wild horse, a wild stallion, and so Spirit doesn't talk. You know, his mouth doesn't move like most um, animated animals would talk in movies. But this is completely different, and that's what I love about it, that we don't really see them talk, but we just see them just acting as horses. But they are given, like, you know, like these, like, human expressions where they can able to express their emotions through, through that. and. It, it's just great, and I, I, I love it. And so, yeah, Matt Damon is the narrator of Spirit, where he tells his story, you know. And I, I can't imagine anyone else other than Matt Damon for the narrator of Spirit, because it just fits Spirit so well. And then Brian Adams, he sings the songs for Spirit, and the those songs are Spirit's inner thoughts, his inner emotions of what he's feeling and, and thinking at that moment. And that's what I love as well. Um, but yeah, this is such an amazing movie. And I did do a review on Spear. If you want, if you want to check that out, I'll leave it right here, up in the iCard. And um, so yeah, this is mostly quite different from a review because movie discussions are just like discussing the movie and everything. So yeah. So for those who haven't seen Spirit, I highly recommend it. <laughs> and for those who do, you know how great, how wonderful Spirit is. <laughs> and like what he goes through and what he feels through his journey um, of what he goes through throughout the movie is just relatable. Now I know I can also relate to Spirit personally <laughs> because uh, like now of course I know what he goes through is very different than what a than what a human being goes through but there are some things he goes through that I feel that I can relate to it, but not in a literal sense, but more like in a metaphorical sense, you know? And I will say this too, and I know I have mentioned this in my um, 
slumber party video that before I was holding back of showing my personality because I know before I was doing that when I started YouTube but then it was until I think somewhere in mid 2019 to mostly through 2020 that I was mostly hiding it. Uh, I think I wasn't showing as much because during that time I was going through um, a lot. Like there was, um, I, w I was going through a lot of stress and there was just, um, y you know what I mean? It's like there's so much negative things going on and not just with COVID but yes with COVID with other things personal things and everything that I that somehow I think the stress and feeling hurt and then feeling upset as well that it that I think all of that just made me feel like I shouldn't well not shouldn't but I think it made me feel like how can I really be myself right now when I'm feeling this much stress and it, you know so I think that's what I was feeling which was not good but then it was until last year that I realized no I I don't want to hide it like like no matter what's going on I feel like I just want to be able to be myself I want to be myself kind of like how I started YouTube and so but anyway, I know I'm getting a little bit more personal here, but all I'm saying is that I can relate to spirit personally and that, um, and like I said, this is also me being me now, like, you know, cause I have this, you know, fun but very sweet, um, personality and, um, and yes, I am a serious person, so there are there are some things I do take very seriously, but it's not like that all the time. I'm not serious like all the time, you know, like 24-7. There are some things where I am at the moment depending on what it is, especially if there's a certain topic that's, you know, been brought up in a conversation, then it depends. But most of the time, I'm just you know, this very, um, how, how do you put it? I don't know how to put it really, but most of the time I'm just this very relaxed, easygoing, um, person. And like I said, I'm just mostly like laid back and, um, like I said, I just, uh, it, it, you know, and, you know what I mean? And then of course I have my own sense of humor. I don't know how to describe it, but in a way it's silly, but not like a ridiculous silly, but more like silly in its own way, cute way, I guess. Uh, but yeah. But with spirit though, um, I can relate to it personally because when I can feel what he's feeling so and and that's how I am too and the thing is I'm also a very emotional pro um, I'm also very emotional too uh, and I am sensitive so I do get hurt easily depending on what's been said and how it was been said you know so it all depends on that um, but yes, I am quite emotional, um, but you know, not in a bad way, but just in a way of certain things that have been said that I might feel something, um, whatever it might be, but yes, I, I know I'm kind of getting off topic here, and I'm sorry, but all I'm saying is that, yes, um, I can relate to spirit personally, and that I know that you know, recently this year, I've just decided, okay, I'm not going to hold back. I'm just going to express uh, to be myself no matter what. So I have been doing that this year and I am now. And I'm sorry if I had to like clear my throat, but my throat was getting a little dry. So <clears throat> I might need some water or something. 
But anyway, so sorry about that. A little off topic, but on topic though about spirit. So yes, it is this amazing um, animated movie, and yeah, I remember when I first saw it. Not only I can see how much I can relate to spirit, you know, on a very personal level, but I can, like, um, I just loved it. It moved me, you know, it, it still does, and it just, I don't know, like, th there are some things that made me sad, you know, with certain parts, some things that were kind of funny here and there, but, you know, I don't know, spirit just makes me happy, you know, and I would say that too, that there are some things that I love and enjoy that, that do make me happy. So, that is true for sure. Well, not for sure, but definitely. And so, what's great about Spirit, like I said, is that it has this very relatable story with this very relatable character. And I just love it. I love everything about Spirit. and. I love how when they combined the 2D animation with the 3D animation, it just blends in so well. And I love how John Fusco wrote the story for Spirit and how it was brought to life. You know, like, it, it's just this wonderful, touching story that he wrote, and, and I just love it. And yes, it is one of my favorite movies and um but the directors I love how they uh, direct the spirit and Hans Zimmer oh my gosh like I said he's just an amazing composer and I love how he composed the music for spirit and honestly I know there's some other great music composers and I've heard their work and other movies too, but I think with Hans Zimmer uh, specifically, I think he was like the perfect choice uh, to do the music for Spirit because it just brought the story to life. Like you feel like, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> like it, it just really brought it to life where like, like, you know, this is really going on and you can feel like the emotion behind it and and all that and I just love it if you're hearing that I'm sorry that's uh my stomach's talking um and yeah I just love how even Brian Adams sang the songs for spirit because he was the perfect choice too to sing the songs for spirit because I can't imagine anyone else other than Brian Adams and um, like I said I just love everything about Spirit I could just go on and on and on but yeah even Matt Damon perfect choice to be the narrator for Spirit and James Cromwell as the voice of the Colonel and Daniel Study as the voice of Little Creek like everything and I mean everything about spirit that um it's just amazing and it's just this wonderful moving touching story and it's just one of those stories one of those movies where you can just watch over and over and just like going through the emotions with the character you know within the story and how you know, by the end of it, it's just gonna, you know, make you feel happy, and you know, it's just gonna make you smile, and and that's how I feel about it. Like when I watch Spirit, I just feel good. I just feel happy, and I'm just enjoying it. And I just love it every time. Like, like I'll, I'll always love Spirit. So, yeah. <laughs> um. But yes, for those who worked um, behind the scenes and even 
on of those who of bringing this um, animated movie to life. I applaud you. <laughs> like, thank you for bringing this story to life. I just love it so much. And I know there's other spirit fans who love the movie as well as much as I do. You are talking. You are interrupting. <laughs> is I think my stomach is trying to find a way to try to talk into this conversation but there's just no way <laughs> so anyway um yeah like I said I could just go on about spirit and how amazing it is how wonderful it is because it is and I highly recommend it and um Are you trying to embarrass me? <laughs> uh, my stomach. But no, no, it's not. But it's just trying to talk, you know? So, yeah. As I said, I could go on and on and on about it. But I do believe this. Um, and for those who are also spirit fans as well. Spirit is so underrated that it really deserves more recognition. It does. It, it definitely does because I feel like there's other animated DreamWorks movies that are more popular, maybe overly popular and gets a lot of attention and even though I can see why because those ones are good as well but yeah, I feel like hey what about spirit here and like spirit's great spirit's amazing like spirit deserves as much or even more recognition as the other DreamWorks movies especially the animated ones so yeah Definitely. And then of course, um, what I love about it is that, like I said, he has this personality where it definitely reminds me of me. Like, um, <laughs> the way I see it, he and I are one and the same. <laughs> no, I know he's a horse. I know that. But it's just the way he carries himself reminds me of me. His personality reminds me of me. And the way he expresses his emotions and even his face expressions as well rem remind me of me. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> you know. And I just, it's not just that, but like I said, it's just everything. Every nice spirit is, and the way um, he's bold and brave and protective but he also has this um you know loving and affectionate side especially towards rain even that i can relate to spirit pretty much with all of that with the qualities he has and the personality as well so yeah and like i said i i just love spirit and i hope one day he deserves he gets the recognition that he deserves and hopefully maybe for I mean I don't know when but I hope one day there could be a sequel and who knows maybe for its 20th or maybe 25th or maybe 30th anniversary that spirit could be re-released in theaters definitely so anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this movie discussion on Spirit, Style of the Cimarron. And for more movie content like this, um, movie discussions, um, dreams, reactions, um, subscribe and click on the bell to be notified when I upload. And leave a comment down below if you have seen Spirit and are you a fan? And if you haven't seen Spirit, then I highly recommend that you go watch it. It's 
it's just great. So that's all for today, and I'll see you at the movies.